We're your local NHS, providing care from the shores of Pembrokeshire, over the hills of Carmarthenshire, to the coast of Ceredigion. We are here for you. Most of your care is provided in the community. We have seven community hospitals, as well as facilities caring for those with mental health and learning disability needs, and run four main hospitals from some of our bigger towns. From bumps and babies, to older people and everyone in between, we provide all of your NHS care. We've heard your ideas on how future services should look, and we've listened to what you've had to say. Our doctors have told us that services are too fragile to meet needs now and in the future, and we must change how our services are delivered. Our population is growing. We are seeing more people who need help and support, many with complex needs. We want people to work for us, so that we don't need to rely on costly, temporary staff. Many of our buildings are outdated, and as technology improves, people expect better care through modern facilities. We have a budget of around 800 million, but last year spent around 50 million more. If we do not change, we're likely to see longer waiting times, more postponed operations, and services unable to meet demand. And worse still, lower safety standards, worsening health, and reduced survival rates. We want everyone to receive the same high quality care. Based on feedback, we have developed three proposals which offer safe, sustainable, accessible, and kind services for the future. And during the next 12 weeks, we need to hear your views or any new ideas. We've listened to you and already decided we need to bring more care closer to your homes and communities. Many patients in our hospitals could be cared for in this way, if the right services were available. In all proposals, there are 10 community hubs. Llandyfri Hospital would be a community hub with beds and a minor injuries unit. Cardigan Hospital would be a community hub without beds and with the minor injuries unit. There would be community hubs without beds on the existing South Pembrokeshire and Tenby hospital sites, as well as in Aberaeron, Cross Hands, on the Delta Lakes development in Llanelli, and in the Kilcaron development in Tregaron. A community hub with beds in Aberystwyth. And for Amon Valley, there would be a community hub without beds in our first two proposals, but with beds in our third. What we do need your views on is the following. Locations, services needed, and who should provide care. In all proposals, Bronglais District Hospital will continue to provide services for Mid Wales. All proposals see a new hospital somewhere between Naboth and St Clair's. The Mental Health Central Assessment and Treatment Units will be located here. In this proposal, we will have a new major urgent and planned care hospital, Bronglais District General Hospital, and community hospitals on Glanguilly, Prince Philip and Withy Bush hospital sites. This proposal would have the advantage of having a new hospital, which could help provide better care and attract new staff, but will mean some staff and patients will have further to travel to access urgent and planned care. The difference in this proposal is Prince Philip remains a local general hospital. This means there are two hospitals in the south of Hoeldha, so less impact on travel times for patients in and around Llanelli, but more difficult to staff and maintain, which could mean more cancellations. In our third proposal, there would be a new urgent care hospital, a planned care hospital on the Glanguilly Hospital site, Bronglais District General Hospital, Prince Philip would remain a local general hospital, and a community hospital in Withybush. This would mean less risk of planned beds being used for urgent care. However, all our current staffing challenges remain, which could mean that you may face the cancellations and delays that you do now, and less money for community services. We believe that there are many advantages with all our proposals, 
including improved access to urgent care and fewer cancellations for many. But they would mean further travel for some people, including those without their own transport or access to public transport. They could impact on some of the most vulnerable in society, including older people, those with disabilities, children and pregnant women. If you feel these proposals will affect you, please tell us. Before we make any decisions, we need to listen to your views and hear any new ideas. You can have your say in a number of ways. Complete a questionnaire, attend an event, write to us, phone us or use social media. The consultation will be open from the 19th of April until the 12th of July 2018 and your views will be independently analysed. Our board will make a decision by considering all that they have heard, along with impacts and the standards we have to meet, including making sure we can afford any change. We will come back to you in the autumn to update you. Our doctors believe this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to change our NHS for the better. We love our NHS just like you, and together we can make it better for our future. To find out more about our proposals, visit our website or phone us on 01554 899 056.